Hello and welcome to a new YouTube channel called I Pick You Play, you with a U rather than the word. I'm Lorenzo. Uh, I'm Lorenzo and you're Jake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought I could get away with it. Nice try. Alright, we're going to be playing uh, Shovel, Shovel Knight, Knight today. Uh, I picked this game for Lorenzo because I have played it, beat it. And look at all that shit. Look at all of that. Got everything. It's beautiful, isn't it? And Lorenzo has not played it, so... I, I have watched you play it, so I do know the location of many of the secrets. However, I have not Really? You're going, with, you're going with Bruce? I'm going with Bruce. Your dad is a legend. The man, the myth, the legend. Bruce Serks. Spelled it wrong, though, but... Yeah, I know. I, I believe it's for comedic Bruce. effect. It was kind of also referencing Bruce, From... who is also on the loose. Just like Bruce, who is screen. on the loose. You're missing all the plot. You're gonna be so far behind. Okay, so this game Shovel is very, Knight, very, very plot heavy. Is it really though? No, not at yeah. all. Yeah, Shovel Knight, Shield Knight, they're Biffles. They got all the loots. Like medieval loots, or no? Did you see a loot in the chest the, of gold? There might have been. I wasn't looking hard enough. Oh no, Shield Knight dead. R.I.P. Like this if you Cree Everton. Everton? She said to him. I am, I am dead. <laughs> I am dead. Look, he's using his shovel for shoveling rather than for fighting. Why though? That's how you know he's a broken man. Yeah, when a man starts using a shovel for its intended purpose. That's when you he's know he's broken. given up on life. Yeah, that is. That's it. Now the tower is unsealed. Devastation's looming, Lorenzo. What are you gonna do? Well, break the loom. That way I can't weave anymore. What if you need something woven? I'll find a new place. Dig in. Dance in there. Uh. How do you like that? Uh. Lorenzo's used to first-person shooters where you can teabag the other players, so pardon him if he is a little crude against the enemies. I'm sorry I'm not a seasoned platformer like, God damn it, seasoned platformer like you are. Uh, that is correct, my background is in platforming games. The first game I remember beating, start to finish, would be Banjo-Kazooie, though that is, is not that technically a platformer? Yeah, it's a 3D platformer. Oh, 3D okay. platformer collect -a um, that sounds fun. It is. It's probably my favorite game. It has my favorite game music, favorite worlds. All around a good game. I do remember playing other games before it, but that's the first one I remember. Mario, Pac Man, Mrs. Pac Man, especially. Or Ms. Pac Man. She don't need no man, Lorenzo. She don't need no man. She's a strong, independent woman of color. She's a strong, independent yellow circle with a bow who don't need no man. <laughs> now, see, I really like that section there. Uh, yeah, because the it kind of teaches you that. Yeah, the bubble floats up from the bottom and shows that you can bounce off of them to get up to the higher platform. Yeah. That's good game design, Lorenzo. That is good game design. In my background, I do play a lot of first-person shooters, but I also play a lot of RPGs, turn-based and or otherwise. Uh, I've spent countless hours on Skyrim, as many have. And, Good. Uh, I was worried that you were going to let that sit there for a second. It's really going to bother me. First game I, I absolutely fell in love with has to be either the Ratchet and Clank series or uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Not uh, the first? No. My she first system was a PS2, and I got one... And Kingdom Hearts 2 was already out, so I just went and bought that one. My first system was first system that I remember owning in my own house was an N64, but my babysitter had um, a Super Nintendo that I remember playing Super Mario World on a lot. Uh, Suck at Bubbles. My Suck cousin it. had an NES <laughs> and a Dreamcast. I remember, for whatever reason, I remember playing Echo the Dolphin and. Uh, <laughs> In one of the Sonic games. Uh, no. Did I say Dreamcast or Genesis? I think I said meant, Dreamcast. I meant Genesis. I know. My parents are very anti-video game. Uh, they thought it rots your brain. It does, but... Eh. <laughs> well, it didn't stop me from 
having a rotten brain. I was going to say succeeding and going to college and being successful, but, you know, that didn't pan out how it was supposed to. That's all right. Yeah. I did go to college for a bit, though. I'm a huge Squeenix fan. Can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 to come out and uh, Final Fantasy 15. Final Santa, uh, Final Santa Fe? Final, Final Santa Fe 15. Final Santa Fe 15. That's actually my favorite game. Uh, you get to you know roam the streets of Santa Fe, New Mexico. You gotta collect all the chilies. Hatch green chilies. They're in season now. Oh man, that sounds delicious. Uh, Borderlands, another great game that is definitely stuck with me. I do enjoy Borderlands. Mass Effect has to be one of my all-time favorite series. Uh, never really got into the Mass Effect games, but it's all about Garrus. The music is good. You gotta calibrate. Oh, you got it. Ah, uh, oh. oh, so close. Those slimes. They remind me of, uh... Kind of, slimes remind me in general of the slimes from Dragon Quest. Alright, there we go. Kinda Why does he keep doing that? Lost the feed there. The capture card's acting up a little bit. I guess... Okay, there Seems we to be go. better now. Okay. Little technological hiccup. Gotta happen. You know. Gotta work the kinks out. The kinks happen. I believe the kinks were a... A punk band? I don't know nearly enough about music uh, before 2000. Or after 2000, for that matter. To get <laughs> most references. That's, that's true, you... I'm a pop culture ignoramus. Ignoramus. Hopefully, we stay connected now. There's so many little secrets and alcoves and such in this game, it's great. Even yeah. on, like, second or third playthroughs, there's still stuff you can find. Like, I didn't find- I don't think I found all of the, the music pages my first time playing this. Every time the cat meows like that, it breaks my heart. We have a cat that likes sitting on controllers and chewing on cables while we're using them, so we have to keep him out of the room while we record this. Oh! Should go back down and figure out how to get to that chest. Oh. Yeah, that. Boom! Blew up the wall. Oh god, another spooky skeleton. It's like they hide there, wait. Yeah. Yeah. He-Man. He-Man! <laughs> uh, they need to make a He-Man movie. I'd watch a He-Man movie. I'd watch a He-Man movie. If like, if they gave it like the... Ch Who would play He-Man though? Chris Arnold Pratt. Schwarzenegger. I'd watch a, I'd watch a Chris I'd Pratt. I'd watch a Chris Pratt He-Man he movie. movie. They should give it like uh, the... Speaking of Guardians of the Galaxy. Michael Rooker. Michael Rooker. Probably one of my favorite things to come out of San Diego Comic Con this past year was Nintendo's live stream press conference sort of thing. Uh, there was a certain part where Bill Trinan, the head of the Nintendo Treehouse, which is like their uh, North American development studio, was oh god why was up on stage demoing Smash Bros. and uh, Michael Rooker the actor who... Yondu. He played Yondu in Guardians of the Galaxy, the blue guy with the the whistle stick. And uh, he's also probably more famous for his work on The Walking Dead as Merle Dixon. Uh, comes up on stage with a microphone and walks up to Bill Trinan and says, So, uh, yeah, y'all guys like video games over here? And Bill Trinan goes, yeah, yeah, I'd say we like video games. And Michael Worker says, then says, Oh, what? What do you guys play? Like, Black Ops or something? To the head of Nintendo's <laughs> development studio, and Bill Trinan, bless his heart, just takes takes it in stride and says, "Oh no, I'm more of a Nintendo guy myself," and <laughs> handles it perfectly. Ah, balls! Two deaths already, damn, Lorenzo. I'm Michael Rooker. I'm Michael Rooker, and I have no, no idea, idea where I am. am. But I'm sure he's a great guy. Just just a little misinformed. 
Great movie. Great movie. Guardians of the Galaxy is good. But yeah, I'd watch a... Uh, Chris Pratt, He-Man. Chris Pratt, He-Man. Give it sort of the... Not necessarily the Transformers treatment, because the Transformers movies weren't that good. But... Heathen. Um, perhaps, you know, a modernization of it. Give it a little bit... Give it the kick in the pants that it needs to be more popular. Would have He-Man in the modern day, like... Space no, not like that. Just, like, make it more action-y and, and stuff. Make it... Take it out from being an 80s cartoon to... Making it a live action movie. Yeah. It's Chris Pratt. Who else could play it? Who's gonna be Skeletor? Who do you cast as Skeletor? Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi as Skeletor. I've watched that. Steve Buscemi as Skeletor and. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he could pull it off. He could, he could definitely pull it off. Who do you cast as She Ra, though? I think you gotta go Aisha Tyler. Get a woman of color in there. I mean, She-Ra wasn't... She is a she is a big, strong woman. She's a big, woman. Aisha Tyler's got that got that strong look without being, you know... An Amazon. Hollywood ugly. Her or Gwendolyn Christie, I think. I have no it. idea who that is. Uh, she plays Brienne on Game of Thrones. Yes. She could do it as well, I she think. She could do it. Ooh. Almost forgot something. You can see the little butthole on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that's not what those look like. <laughs> Looks like the cat's butthole. <laughs> Why are you looking at the cat's butthole again? Why do you always bring up the cat's butthole? It's impossible to not look at it. He walks with his tail up in the air in such yeah, a way. Yeah, stupid cat loves walking and he's presenting. <laughs> he loves presenting. His butthole's like the perfect like white pink. Oh god! And the rest of him is black. <laughs> And so it just now stands you're saying out. your cat has a. Why are we talking about your cat's butthole? Why aren't we talking about my cat's butthole? Keeps you from being racist and worrying about why he's called Black Knight. That's not his name. His name is Black Knight. Oh, I thought you were talking about your cat. No, not the cat's <laughs> name. The cat's name is either Cat Damon, <laughs> Alphonse, or just Kitty. Or shitbag. I mean, shitbag sometimes. It's only scratches you or walks in front of the screen or. Does sits on your face, like, yeah. nibbles your nipples, or <laughs> not that that's ever happened. <laughs> uh, or meow meow, meow meow. That's a good name. Come here. The, the boss fights in this game are really good. They don't. I wouldn't say that they take like an inordinate amount of skill to do, but some of them are. Oh my god! I, yeah, you, I, you have I one almost, hit left. I almost died. <laughs> wow, I am. Kind of shitty at this game. Well, I think that's a that's a good place to stop. That's a good place to stop. Lorenzo. Oh wait, never mind. We gotta do this dream sequence. Okay, you can do the dream sequence. Catch your fallen girlfriend, or don't. What do I care? I care. Me too. I care a lot. R please catch her because <laughs> my heart will be broken. Hard if you she, let her fall. How hard she's falling? She's falling pretty fast. Though you do, it does go into slow motion here. Catch her! Jump! How oh, good, you got her. Alright, Lorenzo will wake up next episode. Alright, see you guys. See ya. Adios.